Today in our 2017 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited, we're going to be test fitting the Rocky Mounts Backstage 2-Bike Platform Rack. This is going to be part number RKY10002. This is a pretty unique bike rack because it has a couple interesting features to it. Much like the other platform style racks out there, this can tilt away from the vehicle with both bikes attached. To do that, they have this handle up at the front here, it's colored blue. You pull that towards you and let the bike rack tilt down, like so. And unfortunately, with the Wrangler, since the door opens out like so, we are going to make contact if we try to do that. But another thing that makes this so unique is that it has the ability to swing out from the vehicle as well with both bikes attached for situations like this. To do that, you come to the blue handle here at the base, you turn it to the left to loosen it up, you want to loosen this up all the way, and then you come to the inside here where there's a blue handle, you're going to pull that up as well and that'll release it and you bring it out till it's about oh, about 90 degrees or so and you bring this in to hear a click and then you can open it up the rest of the way and now it's completely out of the way so we can get to our rear hatch or door and even with it fully open it's not going to make contact with the bike at all You can see there's plenty of space here. And to put it back into place, you just reverse that process. You come to the center here, where you're going to see this blue tab. Lift up on that, that'll release it. Bring it back to 90 degrees. Pull up on that tab. And then just push it in the rest of the way. Come back to this handle here and tighten it up. All right. Now, some of the other features about this bike rack is one, it does come with this bike lock cable here that wraps around the existing frame of your bike, or if you have both bikes, it'll wrap around both frames and come back to this point here where it locks into place. This lock here is key to like with the hitch lock, which we'll get to in a minute. So let's go ahead and remove that. And it does come with a set of two keys as well. the bike is held in place we're going to have two points of contact we're going to have the rear wheel strap here and this cradle does move back and forth as needed to accommodate bikes of different sizes it also comes with an additional strap when you want to use a fat bike and it comes with and this can accommodate fat bikes up to five inches wide right now we have the road bike installed in this was all but this will also work with mountain bikes alternate frame bikes and kids bikes, a lot of that thanks to the wheel mount up at the front here. That eliminates the need for any bike adapter bars, especially for your kids bikes or your alternate frame bikes. So let's go ahead and take the bike off and set it aside. We'll start with the rear wheel strap where it has this blue tab here. You push that in, that'll release it. And then coming up to the front here, we have this blue trigger at the wheel hook. Push that in and away and we'll lift the bike up and off. When everything is finished, it folds up nice and neat. Like so. With it in this position, I'd like to give you a couple quick measurements. Measuring from the edge of the bumper to our outermost point, we've added about 37 inches to the rear of the vehicle. Our ground clearance is going to be about 26 inches. The closest point is going to be to our tire here. 
it's going to be about six inches to this edge, about five inches to this edge. Now with it folded flat, we can also push this up against the vehicle for close quarter situations such as parking. Again, we come to this handle here, pull out, and instead push up until you hear that click. Again, measuring from the edge of the bumper to our outermost point. Now we've only added about 22 inches to the rear of the vehicle, and our ground clearance is about 17. Now, even with it folded up, it will not make contact with our tire here, and a lot of that's due to the hitch that's actually installed on the vehicle, and that's going to be the draw tight hitch, which sticks out a little bit further than most to give you that extra clearance. How this attaches to the hitch, we're going to have an anti-rattle bolt, which once tightened down will take out the shake and play in the shank. And again, we have this lock, which is key to like with our cable lock mount as well. This does only work with two inch hitches. And there you have it for the Rocky Mounts Backstage 2 bike Platform Rack on our 2017 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited.